I guess pride's a lot of different things to a lot of people. Pride's become part of not just the scene for the gay lesbian community in Perth, but I think it's become part of the Perth scene. A lot of people think that pride is irrelevant, and it's not for everybody, but it does fulfil an important role. The Pride Festival itself these days starts with Fair Day, which is usually held on the Queen's birthday long weekend on a Sunday. I hope he's not a fag, I hope he's not a drag, I hope he's not a queer, I hope he's not a misty, although I have to say that with each passing day I have a few more doubts, I think he's gay. Everyone tells me that Fair Day is their favourite day of the year. Uh, Fair Day is my favourite Pride event, and the reason is, is because everybody comes together and enjoys a great day. The older you are, I mean, Pride's a movement that fought for your rights and won your rights and uh, took you out of the dark ages. For younger people now, it's, uh, it's an organisation that gives them great opportunities to meet other people um, and great opportunities to socialise in ways they couldn't do going out in the world with straight friends to straight places. It goes back to a loose affiliation of student collective groups. They eventually got together in 1989 and decided to have a rally, and they had a rally up at Parliament House. At the time, um, a bill was going through the parliament there which sought to decriminalise sodomy. So before 1989 it was illegal for men to have sex with men. And a bill went through there, but uh, the people up there weren't protesting in favour of the bill, they were protesting against it. Because whilst decriminalising sodomy, it actually still made it a crime for men to have men with their boyfriends if they were, they were younger than 21. And it said some awful things in the preamble about, uh, about being gay. So that was when they got together and protested against that bill. From there, the following year, they became the Pride Collective and they had their first Pride Parade. And a year or two after that, they became incorporated and they started marching through Northbridge and having fair days and festivals and here we are today. There are a lot of people who say that we shouldn't have a parade anymore. Uh, there are a lot of people who think that. Originally, it was a protest movement. Over the years, it became a Mardi Gras style event, it became entertainment spectacular, which still delivered that political message. Um, then we got law reform here in WA. Wonderful law reform, the best laws in the country. Um, and we've still got a parade, and it's still got that entertainment focus, it's still got the political message there. Um, but each year, people are saying, well, things are pretty good. Why are we out there marching and protesting? <laughs> about gay and lesbian and queer and transgender and transsexual visibility because um, gay and lesbian and um, different gender identities are so invisible in the community often that it's really a chance to be loud and vibrant and celebrate your identity and it has a really potent political message. My view is there should be a parade. I think you can have, it's great to have an entertainment spectacular that can deliver a political message. And if we become complacent about our rights, then someone will try and take them away. Well, it's, uh, it's an area of great controversy in the church, as you probably know. Uh, I mean, there are people who uh, believe that there is no room at all for sexual expression outside of marriage, whether you're gay or straight. The Anglican Church is a church which has always, always sort of embraced quite a diversity of activity anyway. For some people it's a bit like come out and see the freaks, you know, if I can put it that way. I mean, it's like an entertainment. Uh, and they come out and watch what seems to them to be bizarre behaviour and go away thinking that that's what gay lesbian life is all about. On the other hand, I think that's pretty well balanced by all the other things that go on in Pride Month, and that's a good thing. 
they don't get the same publicity, of course. On the financial side, most people sponsor us because they want, they pro, they want to profile with the parade as well. Nova goes in the parade because they want to um, get lots of advertising, they want the people on the parade route to see them. They broadcast the soundtrack right around the city because they want gamblers and people everywhere to know they support them, so they listen to their radio station. Why do we want them there? Because, because they are there, we get to advertise our events on Nova and lots more people come to our parade. We also have the esteem of having a great sponsor like Nova that we can then go to fireworks companies and say, hey, we've got a mainstream radio station, do you want to come and do some fireworks for cheap for us? And then they say yes. And then Northbridge traders see these wonderful crowds in Northbridge and they are making heaps of money on the night and they put pressure on the councillors to increase their funding for us. I would like to wish you a wonderful day and declare this marvellous fair day open. Thank you. Some of the money we get in sponsorship comes in because of the parade and we spend it on the festival. So you wouldn't have a great film season if you didn't have a parade, or you wouldn't have a good theatre season if you didn't have a parade. Fair Day never makes a profit. The parade makes a profit through sponsorship. So all these things are interconnected and there are lots of reasons to keep the parade. No way that Northbridge Parade is not in a million years. And the reason for that is, I think, is because um, every time that a group of people turn out like this, the gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, intersex people turn out like this together with their supporters, it's making such a statement. We exist, we have a right to exist, and, and here's one night of the year where we can have one hell of a good time, feeling okay, feeling safe, um, feeling, knowing that there's nobody there kind of um, uh, looking over our shoulder, that's such a good feeling.